One time I was on a cross country flight seated in the very back row of the airplane in the middle seat. On one side of me there was this little lady, on the other side of me there was this little man. And before the plane takes off, the lady's like, hey, will you switch seats with my son? And she gestures a row forward to like a 15 year old seated between two giant men. And I'm not really a small man, I'm like six even with a little chunk and a lot of length, but both those guys were an order of magnitude bigger than me. So I was like, no, no thank you, I'll stay right here, thank you. And she was like bewildered. <laughs> she started huffing and puffing and spread as much as she could and took every single square inch of my armrest in the middle. But I can say nothing about her tantrum because it is what it is and then the plane takes off. So about an hour into the flight, one of those giant men switched her places and he's just like such a sweetheart. Like I had way more room next to him than the tantrum lady because he understood how much space he takes up. And then not long after they pulled a switcheroo, one of the flight attendants has told them, she's like, hey, thank you so much for switching. Uh, we actually have a seat with a lot more room up closer to the front if you want to take it. But he's like, no, I don't want to be a bother. It's okay. And I'm like, dude, you got to take the offer and get a bigger seat. This doesn't happen every day and it's a bigger seat. And come on, you got to do it. So he finally accepted and then I got to take his seat and then there was nobody in the middle seat and I slept really well the rest of the flight.